I'm Lee Iridium. I hope you're doing all right. I've got an album review for you, so I'm a bit late on this one. Well, not really late as in after release date. It only came out on Friday, but I did have the promo probably about a month ago. But there's so many albums coming out, especially at last Friday, that this one and another one that I'm going to review sort of got left by the wayside a little bit. But it's not late, late, because it's like near enough, about three or four days late, basically. So um, it's from a band called... I'm hoping I pronounce this right. Why does a band have to have a dif difficult name? So Mayank, spelled M-A-Y-A-N-K, and it features a guy called Guy. I think it's I think it's <laughs> pronounced Guy anyway. G-U-I Oliver, a Brazilian vocalist. Um, what you get on this album is very eighties AOR melodic rock um, in the vein of, and I, I want to give you some idea of what this sounds like obviously, so you can decide either give it a listen on YouTube and buy it or whatever. Might buy it off my recommendation. You never know. Very Journey, Survivor, but I would say a little bit more rockier than that, but it's got that sound. Um, now, one of the things that gives you that Journey sound is the vocalist. He has that Steve Perry type soulful uh, sound to his voice. Definitely got that vibe in his voice. Very Steve Perry. I'm not saying he's as good as Steve Perry in his heyday, but he's got that vibe. He's got a great voice, and it's got that Steve Perry sort of vibe. Um, now, also, apart from uh, Guy Oliver, he's uh, on the vocals. Like I said his tone's quite amazing, really. Uh, Rolf Nordstrom on the guitar. He's from Perfect Plan, one of the best AOR bands out there at the moment. It's got Alessandro Del Vecchio on this, on the keys and the bass, and someone called Nicholas Papapillo on the drums. So there you go. Um, now, what you get with this, you get, yeah, like I said, it's very Journey Survivor, but a little bit more rockier. Um, guitar solos are great. They sort of seem to be very short, which is good. That's what you want from this sort of music. They're short guitar so solos, but very good and melodic. There's a lot of keys on this album. It's sort of a keys and guitar album. So, you know, the guitars are quite level with the keys in the mix on a lot of these songs. There's some great guitar riffs, though, throughout the album. You know, even though they're not, it's not a guitar, totally guitar-driven album. The riffs, there's a lot of riffs, which are cool. Um, lyrically, it's very uplifting. It's a very positive album, I would say. Um, and I've written this down. <laughs> it's a driving album. So it's something that you would put on in the car and it sounds like a driving album, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I do go through these um, tracks one by one. But overall, I would say, you know, this is good, solid AOR melodic rock. This album had a lot to compete with last Friday. Um, and out of the eight albums, I think, that Frontiers released, I chose five that I thought would you know, be the outstanding releases. And this one sort of got left behind probably unfairly because it's a great album, but it's got a lot to compete with, a lot. Let's just say that it's probably not on the same level as some of those ones that came out, Spectra and stuff like that, but it's a great album. It's, it's very, it's worth a listen at least and then worth a buy. You know straight away if you like this sort of stuff. So kicking off the album, Destiny Calling. Good hard rock AOR song. It's sort of got piano and synths. They sort of play a big part from the outset, from this song onwards. Um, they sort of go, like I said, they go hand in hand with the guitar. And you get that sort of the same sort of feel on the, basically on the next, on the first four tracks. Very sort of similar, the AOR feel. You've got Destiny Calling, which is a good opener. Billy is on the run more of that AOR feel. The next one is actually the, the best track for me out of the first four, Miracle Mile. It's, um, you know, and all four of these tracks are great tracks, but this is the outstanding track out of those first four. And then you've got We Are One, which is next. We are one, come back to life, right right. Next up, you get something a bit rockier. So you get to the fifth track, you get Long Live, the Soulless. This is a bit, like I said, a bit rockier, less AOR, a sort of a medium to fast paced song. But I don't know, I think the band excel in the AOR stuff. I mean, it's all AOR melodic rock, 
but I think when they slow it down into that medium pace sort of stuff, it sort of suits them better as a band. Next up is a, a great song called Julia's Smile, very Survivor sounding to me, with a sort of that West Coast AOR sound that this, this album has got a, over a lot of the album. Next up is Sign of Love. This is a piano ballad, if you like, but um, really good actually, and the, it sort of adds the rest of the band in slowly as the, as the album goes on. It's a good, good song. Uh, Hold On is next. Great but familiar guitar riff kicking this off. A sort of good melodic rock tune with some cool keys throughout. The keys are used very good in this album. And if you like your keys, your keyboards, um, it does go alongside of the guitar. Don't forget, this, this is not... It's not as if there's no guitar on this album. They sort of go hand in hand a lot. It's an it's a album full of guitar and keyboards, synths, if you like. Um, From the Heart is next. This is AOR, uplifting song, like a lot of this album is. You notice this lyrically. It's very uplifting. It's very positive, which is a cool thing. It's what we fucking need now, isn't it? Um, Eternal Dream is the 10th song. Great riff again with a classic melodic guitar line kicking off. And that sort of carries through to probably the highlight of the album for me. I think Eternal Dream is probably my favorite track. It's a great, great song. Road to Paradise is next, the continuous of the uh, sort of the AOR West Coast sound. So, you know, if you like, if you don't want to be too heavy and you like your, sort of said, your journey, survivor, but a little bit more heavier than that. So think of like the heaviest songs that Journey sort of done and Survivor did. It's along those lines. So, you know, it's sort of, this is a really good album. Would I put it at the top of the releases this year? No, I wouldn't. But I think it's good enough, you know, to get some recognition. And AOR fans are like this. The trouble is there's so much good AOR coming out lately, you know, and it's hard to compete, like I said. But um, definitely worth a listen. You know, if you've got Spotify, give it a download. If you don't like it, delete it. Or, you know, if you like it, buy it. You know, it's just, that's the thing about music these days. You can try before you buy it. Not like when I was younger. Anyway, check it out. Mayank featuring Guy Oliver. I liked it. Like I said, if you like your Survivor and Journey, AOR stuff, but a bit heavier, give it a go. Put in your comments below if you like this album or not. And I'll see you next time.